What does it take to build the ultimate raisin? Magic, alchemy, an unwavering drive to be the best? No, none of these things. Hi, I'm Dagoth Ur of the Sixth House in the Tribe Unmourned, and today, my good honorary Dunmer, I will be divulging the Red Mountain recipe for not only the ultimate raisin, but the secret to the ultimate Argonian as well. You see, the unassuming raisin is perhaps the single most alchemically potent ingredient to have ever been pollinated on the face of Nern. Why, you might ask? Why, for its ability to grant the user the single most enchanting effect to walk on water. Now that alone is a nifty feat. A toe-tickling treat it is to walk on water indeed. But there exists one problem. The problem, of course, is that when a potion of walk on water runs out, you're absolutely hooped unless you happen to, by chance, be an Argonian who can breathe water. This is not ideal. The ideal scenario would be that you have an extremely concentrated flask of a walk-on-water potion brewed by a master alchemist to last you upward of 10 million seconds, but you are very unlikely to have access to such a person or even ever be able to afford their potions. However, Old Dagoth has a clever solution for everyone. But first we have to ask ourselves, what is a raisin? It's a grape, stupid. A raisin is a dried grape. Raisins don't grow by themselves. The important thing is that since it is dried, it no longer has anywhere near the mass, volume, nor the turgidity of a grape, and can therefore be stored longer and more efficiently than any grape farmer would want you to believe. It also means that per pound, raisins can achieve a far higher efficiency of the walk-on-water effect, while also no longer having any residual water to dilute the alchemical process. I have therefore deduced that a single pound of raisins can, in effect, provide an army of, oh, say, 300 Argonians with the ability to walk on water for a total of 73 million seconds. That's 2.3 years apiece. Now you might be asking yourself, Dagoth, how in Nern does that make the ultimate Argonian? Argonians can breathe water and therefore don't need to walk on it to avoid its ill effects. Well, my dear Dunmer, in training, you might think that, but, but, you know, I never actually thought about that. Oh dear me, that really would be completely redundant to an Argonian, wouldn't it? Walking on water isn't really even necessary for them. In fact, now that I think about it, you could just as well use a potion of levitation to get over a body of water and also have the versatility of altitude control. By the nine, why would anybody use water walking over levitation? It's not nifty at all, it's just a logistically less viable option. What if you need to jump a dreg attack? Or what if you need to suddenly submerge yourself for some reason? I mean reason. Look, I'll come clean. We ended up trying to start a vineyard here at Red Mountain to make ourselves some specialty sixth house wine. All anybody knows us for is our brandy, and that hasn't been marketable for ages now, so we were really trying to branch out into wines and ciders. But of course, due to the heat, we just ended up with a bunch of raisins, and now I can't stop trying to think of a way to use them without just tossing them into the magma flu. It just... It just seems like such a waste of all 375,429 perfectly good raisins. Yes, I counted them all. I see them in my dreams. Raisin. Raisin. Wait a minute. Wait just a red mountain minute. Raisins. What are raisins? They're grapes. Oh ho ho, how silly of me. We can still use them to make wine after all. Oh joyous day. Happy day.